there's no gimmicks in rallying, it is the, <laughs> the ultimate form of motorsport. The golden era of rallying in the 70s and 80s, this is what the event is, is trying to recreate. I mean, we never get the chance to do five days of rallying, it's, it's massive. As everyone gathers, you see the enormity of the event and just how long it's going to be and what an endurance event it is. It's a mixture of excitement, the adrenaline starting to kick in. This is a nod back to the past, replicating the old RAC rally from back in the 70s, 80s, where they ran through the day and night. They had maybe 60 stages over the course of five, six days. So the itinerary this year is, is incredible. Roger Albert Clark, very synonymous in the, in, in the world of rallying in the 70s and 80s. Big country of the cars that are here today are Ford Escorts, which is what Roger was famous for driving in his heyday. But we also have Ford Cortinas, Anglias, Porsches, Lancias. Uh, so we've got a, a great mixture of the classic cars of the 1970s and 80s, what used to go on the old RAC rally as, as before. To be here in Wales with such a car, it's uh, iconic and uh, a dream come true. My grandfather did the classic RAC back in the 70s with, with checkered flag, Lancia Stratos, with Toyota, Volvo. So I think, you know, it was a nice, cool memory thing to do together as a, as a family uh, and, and do something he did in the past. Yeah, it's so exciting to be here, my first RAC. Very grateful for the opportunity to drive this Triumph TR7 V8. It's an absolute beast. Unlike anything I've ever done before in my career, five days on iconic stages. A lot of the spectators call it the RAC Rally. It's 20 years since we ran the first one back in 2004. 2004 we started with 37 cars. This weekend we're starting with 156 cars. So the event's progressed and it's grown. It's an event for the people. I remember going to watch the RAC Rally in the forest, stop sleeping in the cars, with the snow and the long walks with all the spectators in on the morning. We're now recreating that. I'm looking at it as a, a legacy for the sport. Getting the next generation of spectators, the next generation of competitors, the next generation of volunteers into our sport by giving them the opportunity to see rallying as it used to be in the, the heyday of motorsport, the heyday of rallying. And that, that's why we do the events and that's what it's all about for me. RAC has always sort of been on my bucket list. You know, we're basically doing two World Championship events now in five days with these historic cars, so um, it's a huge challenge, um, but one that really whets my appetite, you know. It's, we're doing all the best forest stages in Wales, Keeler Forest up in the north of England and all over Scotland, so it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long five days, but certainly it's going to be enjoyable. My first RAC was um, 88. Now it become in the historic world one of the best events. So we love the forest, we love the atmosphere. Motorsport is special in England, so, so we feel it and uh, we like it. There's such a variety of cars, it's such a big field and it's such a, a long event as well. I think it's the longest now in 30 years, but it's just so different from anything else I've done. So it's a good opportunity to come out in the, in the Welsh forests. Personally, I've been training quite hard and the team have been working on every aspect of the car as well as assembling a lot of spare parts, literally to keep us going. The aim is to finish. By far the longest stage I've done in a, in a historic car with no power steering, it's going to be a, a massive challenge. And yeah, it's going to be equally as tough for all the team because they're following us through the countryside. You know, at the end of most stages to service in the car, making sure we carry on strong. So it's a massive team effort this event, more than any event I've done. It's a logistic nightmare for the organisers, for the competitors. We're doing 300 stage miles. The amount of tyres that they use uh, to cover that is phenomenal and all the logistics that goes with that. 
we're rallying in areas where there is no refuel. These cars only go 50, 60 miles to a tank of fuel. We have service cars to keep them running. It is a logistical nightmare, but we think we, we bring a lot to the local areas to where we go. Um, I've been in this water rallying since the age of 14, uh, navigating originally on road rallies. So just a group of friends really, um, we've been together since uh, 17. Recently bought this car then to specifically do this event because it's a local one uh, to us. I mean, we live around 10 miles away from Kamada. We have 1,600 marshals on the event, all, uh, all volunteers to manage the five days of the sport. It's a very big undertaking, big management project to put on a very good five-day motorsport event for people to come and enjoy. Long stages, proper rallying, and the volunteers in rallying, uh, you know, to, to organise the rally is the most important we have, you know, without them we couldn't do rallies. And, you know, there's so much passion and so much history out there. You know, rallying is so classic that, you know, it's a big, big family, take care of each other. And, and yeah, as I said, the volunteers are the most important. Great rally, good company, beautiful scenery. What more could you want? It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling doing something for other people. And uh, the events we compete in wouldn't run if people didn't give back themselves. I think you know the, the world is moving forward with all the different type of technologies, and you know we're trying you know uh, sustainable fuel even on an old Escort uh, from the 70s, and we're using the careless uh, uh, racing fuel. And I think it's great to to look into the future and look into these different options, so we can still use these amazing old cars, you know, and, and still think about the environment. Because they're biofuels, it's over 60% less emissions than, than an ordinary engine. The crew didn't have to make any adjustments to the engine whatsoever. There's special biodiesel fuel which is in the vans, the chase car, the media car, all the vehicles. Also, trying to get other competitors to be environmentally responsible. Fuel has been working perfectly, otherwise I wouldn't use it, <laughs> because I need performance. So it has performance and it has sustainability, so it's very good. The camaraderie of, of the competitors, everybody looks forward to it. I mean, we run the event biannually, so it's every two years, mainly because it's such a huge undertaking to, uh, to run five days, 350 stage miles, nearly a thousand road miles. It's a very, very big undertaking. The feedback and the, the love that people give uh, for the event that brings me back and wanting to do it over and over again and give the experiences to, to others moving forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.